the moments when you took someone through an experience and you showed them that they were capable of something that they couldn't do, it's like a little change in their life. And from that point on, they're a different person. And I, I feel like lots of sheep hunters, that's why they keep coming back to do it, is because they get those moments and it, it draws them in. They don't get that in other parts of their life. Well, we've uh, just started the hunt. <clears throat> it's August 9th. Kevin's the hunter. Uh, he's a good bloke from Wyoming, Casper, Wyoming, and Tyler's here with me. We're gonna uh, hike up. We just spent a little bit of time glassing before heading up into the mountains. And yeah, we're gonna go up, camp up on top, and find ourselves around. In the words of the Aussie, let's do some bush bashing. Kev just spotted some ewes on the mountain not too far away. Could get some eyes on some sheep. Now we just gotta find the boys. Well, we did a big push today. Got up on this ridge and we've spotted some rams on the skyline. It's one that we didn't get a good look at, but there's three that we did and one looks close. So in the morning, we're gonna hike across after we see what they're doing and uh, check them out. But yeah, it's great to great to find some rams and everyone's been putting in hard work. So it'd be nice if we can uh, seal the deal on a legal ram. So with this uh, stalk or getting into Judgem, um, their eyesight is incredible. Right. And they're really good at picking up movement. So we'll take our time, make sure we're out of sight, obviously. If we have the time, I'll get you to do like a couple of dry, dry fires. So you're feeling comfortable, you can kind of take out some of the, the jitters. Okay. Yeah, just give me a yardage. I can, you know, I can rub your back if you want. Yeah. Calm you down. <laughs> just yeah. give me a yardage and I'll go. That's what I need is like yeah. the distance. I don't need any, like unless I ask for MOA. Yes. Is, that's all I need and then I'll adjust from there and I'll make the shot. Yeah, perfect. Yep. Cool.
<sighs> no, it wasn't your fault. Yeah, I just thought they were up a lot higher than where they were. Saw us moving and got out of here. <laughs> We got up to the top of the ridge where the rams disappeared and now we're just going to roll over and have a look into this base and see if we can find them or hopefully see where the tracks are uh, leading. glass this morning. Happened to see the ram so we're just gonna pack up, head up on the, to high ground and try and relocate. running from the rain because it's coming. We can't see the mountains on the other side. So we're running for our tents before it starts raining. It's day nine, um, we packed up camp this morning and uh, did a little bit of glassing and now we're just going to head to our exit point and do a little bit more looking for sheep along the way, but uh, yeah, big hike ahead of us today, so a lot of ground to cover. Coming away from a hunt without an animal is always tough. As a guide, you know, you're working really hard to try and make it a success for the client it's the, the focus, you know, it's the reason you're out there. And that person's penned a lot of hopes and dreams on that and money and, you know, that's never easy. But there's also gratitude for a client like Kevin who really understood what the hunt was about, um, was still really grateful, loved his time in the mountains and, you know, could come away with a lot of pleasure from a situation that didn't turn out how, you know, he, I know he hoped it would. That's a blessing too, because you know it's tough for the, the client. Nick, you're a duck. Tyler, you can be a top hat. Top hat. And I'm a dinosaur. We got caught with our pants down, playing Monopoly under the silt tarp, and it started raining, like really bad, and windy, like really bad. And now we're all scrambling to get our tent set up, and we haven't eaten dinner yet. What's on your head? I have a beekeeper's hat on. It looks like a laundry basket. <laughs> Keeps the bugs from eating me. Quiet laugh.
have to talk about it. Quiet. Not a sound. <laughs> Looks like a laundry basket over here. <laughs> I just want to make sure we're on the same page. I can't see it. <laughs> you can't even have a laundry basket on your head. <laughs> Bye. Oh, there's mosquitoes in here.